I have been through a jungle for the last two days just to find out all the new and exciting features of FL Studio 21. And I just can't wait to show you my favorite ones. The first feature that I absolutely adore are the crossfades in the playlist. You can now drag two samples into each other and a crossfade will automatically appear. This way you can create super unique sounds from two different samples. These are two 808s and let me just slam them together and now I have my own unique version. If you don't want this feature for some reason, you can always disable it in the project settings. This is a really interesting feature for sound designers, because you can also adjust these fades completely. Creating a normal fade in and fade out has never been easier, and you can also adjust the curve of the fade. So here we have two identical samples, and I want to change the volume of one of them. Well, back in the old FL, we had to make this one unique, and then we could adjust the volume here. You no longer need to do that. The gain can now be adjusted by sliding this point up or down, and I love that they also show this visually. Disabling the fade editing controls can be done with this toggle. Oh my, you're gonna love the next one. If you select your audio clips, copy them, you can now paste them at the play at. This also works inside the piano roll, which is super useful. Teaming in FL Studio is completely legal now because it used to be illegal. If you go to options and then to general settings, you can find the team tab right there. These are all pre-installed teams, which I think are really cool, but you can also create your own unique ones. This is so exciting. Now let's head over to the browser. This update will save us so much time from now on. You can now hover over your samples and then click the star icon. Head over to the star tab and right here you will find all your favorite samples. You can also tag samples by right clicking them and then choosing add tag. Type in whatever you want and now every sample that has this specific tag will appear when you filter it out on the bottom. With one of your sounds selected, hold shift and click on the sample. This way you can preview it, but it starts playing where you have your mouse. Okay, let's go to the mixer for a second. Select the mixer tracks by holding down control plus shift and then clicking on the mixers you need. Then open up the menu on the top left and go to disk recording. Click on render selected mixer tracks. Now the selected mixer tracks will be exported for you. And this is extremely useful. Next, you can now import M4A files. For example, when you're recording sounds with your iPhone, you previously had to convert them to an mp3 or WAV file. Well, now you don't have to do that anymore. The biggest thing that is still missing in FL Studio is this. You still can't customize your own shortcuts. I mean, you can do it with external applications, but that's just not how it's supposed to be. Now, I'm pretty sure they're working on this because a lot of producers have been requesting this. Now, they also added a few amazing new plugins, like the super advanced reverb effect. But I will make a video about that really soon because there's a lot to say about these plugins. Now, these features are absolutely worthless if you don't know how to use FL, which is why I made this video right here where you can learn more. But I gotta go now. Goodbye.